I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die. I am Norma Thomas, a well-known socialist. I have run for governor of New York twice and ran for president recently. I believe very strongly in the socialist movement and disagree with Roosevelt's New Deal because it does not put into action enough government control. The supposed New Deal is not a horrible idea, but I feel that if it is followed completely that this same crisis will happen again or it will not get fixed. In addition, there are ways that it can be improved. As a socialist, I believe there should be a lot more government control. In addition, I also believe that President Roosevelt is not pushing for enough government control. This needs to be changed. Roosevelt has been accused of being socialist just because he is a Democrat. This is not true. He has not carried out very much of anything on the socialist agenda. First off, the National Banking Act is a mistake. Giving money to the banks and reforming Wall Street is not socialist at all. The socialist group believes that the banks should be completely controlled by the government and Wall Street should be abolished. Therefore, banks should not be returned to their former selves because they are just going to fail again. These laws now in place that give people jobs through federal organizations are good ideas. For example, the CCC and the PWA. Large holding companies should be unionized so that all of these utilities below them can be socialized by the government. We also believe that people should have the ability to unionize as they please, especially the sharecroppers of the South, who are the poorest people in America. In the New Deal, I feel that they are excluded, which is why I have chosen to unionize them into the SGFU, or Southern Tenant Farmers Union. These people can't afford to pay their landowners because they can't get money from growing crops if the AAA, or Agricultural Adjustment Act, prevent, prevents them from doing so. The government is putting capitalism in front of moral issues. While people are starving everywhere, the AAA is making farmers produce less in an attempt to save the economy, causing prices for crops to increase. People are still starving. Raising the prices and producing less will not help this issue. It will just make more people go into poverty because of the lack of food and money. We disagree with this new deal because it does not focus enough on moral issues. It is too focused on economical issues. These acts and laws are being used in an attempt to save capitalism. People now may think socialism is the enemy, or it is a bad idea, but it's really just an idea of thinking that will make the economy more fair and prevent another Great Depression from recurring.